The the weekend was saved by what happened at the SCG, wasn't oh, it? Yeah, it was a cracking. Two finals at that yeah. ground have a way about them. And you could form a pretty compelling case that this was the pinnacle moment for the code in Sydney. They are going nuts here at the SCG. Unbelievable scenes. It'll go down in history as one of the great finals. The fans don't want to go home either. They've seen an incredible come from behind victory. Crazy. Yeah, that was unbelievable. I'm, just, I'm actually lost words. And we are on the Big Battle Cameron. of the Bridge, September style. Oh, look at the spike. The teeth are grinding and the head's going in from Batley. He'll put it on the boot. Kick up towards the logo. Heaney! He defies the laws of gravity. With the mark of the year, the won't be counted. It was like the pole vault. He was up so high and started to tumble down. Lloyd is charging forward on the turnover. Two bounces, tucks it under the arm. Vacant goal square. Got it. Ward will get there. Busted through. Outside of the ball. Oh, Callum Ward. A big time moment from the veteran. I found it hard. At the 50, centering ball now for Swans. Back there is Campbell. Well. He was really restricted in his training. He's had a sore groin. He lost his granddad, on, unfortunately, on Thursday night, who he's really close with. Really should be a proud moment for him and his family, um, the way he did that. Campbell, left foot, kick opens up the angle, but let them down. That's exactly what you want from a sub in a final to have a massive impact. It's patently brilliant. Huge. One of the footy that gets the two and one. The Rolls Royce Heaney. His ability to, to lift and, and to play well and keep rowing the boat, it's a real credit to him. Heaney kicks up inside the 50, bouncing, bouncing, goal! From the centre wicket, wax it for six! A fantasy goal! Isaac Heaney, you genius! There's not a kid in the land doesn't want to be Isaac Heaney right now. Spirals it inside 50, Joel Amani hasn't been near it! He wasn't a certainty to play either. He rolled his ankle on, on Thursday after training. So he probably thought he might have been missing. Amani for the pocket. He rolls one home. Amani for the lead. Sydney have come from nowhere. Joel Amani dribbles it through. And the Swans are in front. He's playing my first touch of the game, but that's, that's what finals would have used. It's really embarrassing if it missed, but I think it just helped the boot. It felt like it was going in. Sydney from nowhere. Sydney are going to win this. They are going to steal it from the Giants. The big brother is going to prevail. And a famous Sydney Swans win in the most miraculous fashion you've ever seen. September in Sydney is red and white for once. Swans win <laughs> with a final term right up there with the greatest... CG is seen in September. And sometimes when you're not playing that well and the opposition are on song, and you've got to hang in there and hang in there and grind it out, and then we're able to do it and then go, which was fantastic. What can you say? There was one for the ages. That's what finals is all about. What a game. Crowd involvement, crosstown rivalry, and don't they live that? What was it like? To... Very personal. What was it like to be there? Uh, it was spellbinding. Yep. And even just leaving at the end, going down Driver Avenue, you can still hear the noise cascading up over the grandstands. And you go, that's a city in love with its team. And that's a code making an imprint in, in a foreign land. Oh, Terry Wallace put out a nice message on the weekend. He said, first week of the finals and... It was New South Wales. It was the two Sydney teams who put on the best event, you know, and they're, they're, they've Johnny come lately to the competition, really. Um, yeah, it was, it was a great game. It was a great game. You know, if Alistair Clarkson was commentating, he would say Sydney were tougher and better for longer, and that's what it seemed like. But it's uh, the last quarter. 
when they locked in in the last quarter, because they hadn't been that for three quarters, no, they, they were out toughed. And you're watching the Giants go, this team is built for finals. We see it year on year on year. And that's what they produced. But then Sydney, almost kamikaze style, they met that moment, that Blakey mm. spoiled right at the start of the quarter and everything mm. flowed on from there. And they picked up on the example that Heaney had been showing them for an hour already. It's a cliche, you know, but footy's an arm wrestle. And how long will the arm wrestle go? But it can only hang in for as long as you're mentally strong. Someone's going to break. Someone's going to break. Someone's going to break. Keep going, keep going. And it happened to be the Giants. And they were tired at the end. They were tired. It felt like to me, and tell me if I'm wrong, it felt like to me that the effort and pressure that they put in for so much of the game and played a really good brand of football, they just ran out of puff at the end and where the and then the swans smelt it and went right now we're going to really ramp it up and all the runners got on their bike Campbell comes on beautiful left kick he's running Heaney Warner and they just went whoosh running so it validates both of them it certainly enhances Sydney sort of back to what we've been experiencing